Hello everybody, yes it's with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to build on Roblox. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. Now this is a simple tutorial. Um, for those developers that have already been on Roblox Studio, you don't need to watch this video. You can watch it if you want, maybe you'll learn a few things. Um, but we're going to be talking about building, just in general, okay? So that's you know using tools and how to make something. Now, um, all you have to do is go on to Roblox Studio, and we're going to get right into this. Um, so if you don't know how to make a game, of course, download Roblox Studio, and you should be able to click a, a base plate. Um, sometimes there's tools that are already made for you, or a base plate that are already made. So if you want to mess around, we can kind of go into there. Um, but just looking around real quick, okay? So we have the base plate. You know, if you use WASD, you can move around. Hold your right click down to, you know, view your wherever you're at, but you have a few things right here. Now there's this workspace and then there's properties. If you have properties, go to the view tab up here and you're just gonna click properties. Make sure Explorer is always open, okay? Now, um, there's a lot of things. I mean, Roblox Studio is, uh, it's definitely hard to manage and look through at the beginning because you're a little confused what all this stuff is probably. Um, there's plugins, there's the test tab, there's avatars, there's models, and then there's the home tab. Now, model is probably the tab you're going to be on most of the time if you're building, okay? Um, now, when it comes to building, there's a lot of things you can do. You know, um, there's parts. So if you want to insert your first part, you just click that button right there, and you can, you know, mess around just like this. Now, you probably can see this right here. Um, now, this is because I'm on the rotate button. There's a scale button, and then there's a move button. Um, you can also just, like, hover over your item and just hold it to move it around if you'd like, whatever's easier to you guys. Then if you see this thing in the bottom right, you can actually just, uh, you know, tilt. You can rotate just like that. And then you can do snapping, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, this is the hotkey help if you want. I'd keep it open. Um, but it's really nice. Now, if you have the properties right here, you actually can see all of these certain things like brick colors and, um, you know, just like materials. So if you want to make it like, let's say wood, so we can build our, you know, we could build our first house if you want. So let's, let's just, yeah, let's think about that. Let's just build a house. So I want to do wood. Okay. And I'm going to make it, let's say brown. Now, scale wise, you could just do this and you could scale it. Now I want to teach you one thing though. Okay. So there's actually a move and a rotate button. Uh, now when it comes to these studs, there's a certain amount of like, I guess, decimals that it's going up and down. So if you do a move, it's going to move a certain amount of studs each time. See how it's going 0.2? Now, I keep mine on 5 and 0.2. Yours are going to be different when you first load in. So I recommend doing 5 and 0.2. 5 is great for rotating and all that kind of stuff. So I recommend doing that. Um, all right, so going into the properties section. So we have the materials like I was talking about. There's also material variants. Um, that's something you can add later in with the textures and stuff if you want to work on that. Um, reflections is another thing. Uh, this is good for like glass and everything. Transparency, it's how you turn that transparency. So if you want it to be a Foley, so you can't see it. Locked, if you do lock, it will make it so you actually cannot select it. Now, this is actually really useful for like certain reasons, but um, for now we don't need this. So you can actually unlock it by using that lock tool um, or just using it in the place and then just go back to select it. Now you can lock it. Um, now you wanna make sure this is anchored. So always turn on anchored and then there's can collide, which makes it so a player does collide with the object. Um, but yeah, so when we were just going through here, let, like, let's just say scale wise. Okay. So you can do it, you know, as many as you like, let's just follow the base plate. So I like, you know, about to there on the edge and then I can actually go here. Now, if you hold shift, um, it for a model, depending on how you do it. So if you want to make this a model and then you hold shift while you do this, it will actually just grow it in general. Um, but you know, that's if you just, you do it with a model, but, um, yeah, so we have this base part right now here. Now, to quickly like build something, you just hit Control D, what I recommend. You can actually just go down right here and like, let's say you want to build a wall. So you can do something like this. Now, you see the shadow right here though? Cast shadow, if you turn that off, it will make sure there's no shadows. But we want that on because, you know, we want shadows in a game to make it realistic. Um, but of course, you can do whatever's easier. So I want to do concrete. So I'm going to do like concrete. You know, I can go like white maybe. Um, once again, scaling is like a big thing when it comes to, you know, building things. So control D just to really like make this faster. You know, I can go like this. Um, sometimes I recommend, you know, you can just do copy and paste things and just like not have to worry about certain things. 
Um, but another thing that's kind of like up to you guys is if you don't want to use these tools right here, you can actually make get a plugin that like there's this building tools right here. And this is really, really nice. This is actually something that people use like very often. Um, and I don't know if a lot of people prefer it actually, um, which is a good question, but that's just something later you can consider, but we're going to add some crazy stuff into here to make it like, you know, nicer or whatever. But, um, for now, you know, I'm just going to build the walls cause I want to build them out. And then, um, you know, depending if we want to do windows, we can do that later. But, uh, for now we have the walls. Okay. Um, so let's say you wanted to add a roof or you want to add special things. Now in this part drop down, there's a lot of things you can do here. You can actually add like a corner wedge. So if you want to make like a simple roof that is, let's say just, you know, up into like, just, I'll show you real quick. So we'll go right here. We're going to actually make this go all the way out to here. We're going to make this go all the way out to there. So now you have like a corner roof, let's say, and then I can, like I said, you can drag it to on top of here, just if you want that. Um, now this is a little uneven, but you know, you can kind of follow guidelines and see what's best for you. Uh, but of course, corner wedge is going to have that up thing up here. And um, then if I were to like duplicate it and do control R, it will like, you know, match it or whatever, I guess you could say. So, um, but yeah, we, we, of course, need to make it different for this. Um, but honestly, with that, you don't really want to do that. I think I'd recommend just using a wedge because, uh, you know, it, it depends on you, oh, you want to make the, the roof. Um, but so like a wedge, like I said, now, one thing to keep note is every time you import a part, just know it's not anchored. So you're going to always want to anchor it. You want to make sure it's always anchored because that can be a pain in the butt later when, you know, things are not anchored and you're building a game. And then next thing you know, like it just is like not working. <laughs> um, or I mean, it's falling. And what I mean by anchored is, yeah, it, it will fall if it's not anchored. Now, when you do control D, so let's say we want to use this rotate thing. So um you can rotate it clockwise and if you do 180 degrees that's just completely backwards and then we set it to the little white dot right there it's going to completely be on the edge okay and so now you have like a roof okay so you know if i wanted to um go right here and uh you know make this a roof color and then we could do like you know metal maybe i don't know metal makes sense i guess <laughs> you know then you have your roof now another thing you can do um, and we're going to talk about, and we go to the model tab, like I was mentioning, um, you can do less. So yeah, this is the materials, by the way, uh, this is material manager, you can actually generate your own materials now, which is awesome. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can, there's textures as well. So textures are used very often. So, you know, I don't know, you know, we could do like a building pack maybe. Um, oh no, that is not what I wanted to do. That's not what I want. You know, if you search up like textures, actually, this is a good, let's just do that textures. Um, you know like brick wall texture so like this has a brick wall texture on it so you know if you want to add textures you can like copy these and put them in a part um and like yeah so i can just like paste them right into it and there you go so now we have brick walls on all sides of it so actually that looks better you know you just add brick walls to everything <laughs> um but um one thing we can do is there's actually a union so you know if we get these together we union them okay so that's gonna make these a one like its own its own thing so this is now a union okay now um if you hit separate it's gonna separate them but let's let's keep on union okay now let's actually do something here let's um grab two parts okay so if i grab a block let's just go like this for a second and we go on the edge right here let's go to the edge right there we're gonna actually rotate this just a bit so we're gonna go like up here we'll go Go right here that's kind of good and then we'll go up here okay so kind of like this let's just say you want to go like this maybe um yeah actually that's whatever. we'll just do that we'll go to the edge same thing again but we're gonna rotate it one more time uh oops no wait what am i doing yeah whatever that works um <laughs> so we're gonna do it one more time and we're gonna union these so whatever that works Union these. Now, if we go right here and we hit negate. Oh, no, not that. Sorry. Intersect. Um, you see how it just deleted stuff? So, you can actually just separate two. Or we can just do... Yeah, union again also joins them all together. Where is that? No, I was doing that wrong. Um, this is... I'm being stupid. So, this is negate. So, you're going to do that. Negate right there. You're going to union these. Okay. And then, you're going to go back to these. And then, you're going to go... I think it's just union. Yep. There you go. So now you have a little cutout, okay? So that's kind of the whole point. But you you get the point where I mean like the way you want to do it. This is like very bad. Don't do what I did. 
but now it's unioned and now you actually have it so it's just like empty basically and you could have done this just by doing two parts so don't mind what i did there but you get the point because now if i want to um you know if i want to add another part and like have this be a union like you can do that you can negate it and add a union right here so they basically you know join together um same thing you know so um same thing again though it's just you know it's it's the way you do it um but yeah i mean you you kind of kind of get the point of what i'm doing here um it's weird you know if you mess around with it you can kind of go crazy um but like yeah that's kind of the the whole like little kind of rundown of everything there also is a transform button which you know you can use this if you want this is actually also good for like moving certain amount of studs you know you see how there's like this like little grid here that's really nice this also does trends uh you know certain rotation and everything um geometric physical collisions are good uh, i forgot to recommend that um collisions are really good because it shows like what is actually colliding with each other um join surfaces too uh, same thing. It talks about what is, you know, joined or not. Um, and then pivot. Yeah. Pivot editor is another thing, you know, edit pivots you can do. Um, and then, yeah, there's also these things over here, which you don't have to worry about right now. Cause that's more script stuff. Um, but yeah, so like, let's just look at a modern house real quick. Okay. Let's, I guess this is a modern house. This is a toolbox. Now I wanted to recommend that you actually should use a toolbox for a lot of things because there can be a lot of models and builds on there. Now, meshes are another thing so when it comes to building if you want to add a mesh um you can like mesh parts um they will use a special mesh id and that means you know you can have a certain like i don't know we could we could search up maybe like mesh tree i don't know i don't think there's gonna be anything okay yeah there it is right here mesh tree it's perfect so that's what i mean by meshes like they have these special textures and effects to them um and build wise but yeah so someone built this so um we can even just control you and just ungroup everything but um building wise i mean you guys get the point now so you're actually able to build this like it's 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 something you guys should be able to build you know and recreate um and it shouldn't be too hard for you to do now I, sometimes i recommend when it comes to like yeah building these things is like ma just making like two of them or like let's say like, yeah like fence wise like you know make a few fences and then you can just like you can duplicate it and move it across just like that and then make like a group if you want to make it a group you just control g or right click it and hit do a group and then boom you're just you're good to just keep on you know making something this also helps when you want to delete certain parts but you get the point so these are all certain colors this is okay tutorials force field that's weird um you can do glass though um and yeah so like right here it should be oh no, it's force field too well you get the point here so like if i were to do glass though um you know that's what it would look like and then you transparency would be like set to like this amount or whatever but yeah so you know it's kind of cool um this is another mesh part right here they built um and then you have lights up here if you do want to do lights it's super easy to do you can add a spotlight um you know you can just you know go into here and search up light um super nice and easy to do there's surface lights as well so surface lights also work you can change all the properties you can do the brightnesses all that kind of stuff um up to you though but yeah, so um, you kind of get the point. Um, so you can be creative, you know, right here we have like a sphere and then um, a cylinder, sorry. And then right here's a sphere and they made a camera. So, you know, mess around, see what you can do and make. Um, these are, oh yeah, these are materials. So that's very nice. All right, well, I hope you guys did enjoy this little, you know, tutorial. Sorry, it wasn't too short, but um, kind of just talking in over overall about building on Roblox. Now, one thing I did want to mention before I end this video is you can actually use, uh, you know, it comes to meshes and getting really into building on Roblox. I recommend that, you know, just get get first, like, familiar with the Roblox Studio and everything. And then once you're kind of familiar, guys, with everything and you really want to get into the more detailed stuff, um, I recommend going and learning Blender. Um, Blender will help you learn, th you know, 3D modeling and everything like that. If you want to go on that side of Roblox, um, you know, Blender will help you make 3d models and assets and meshes and all that kind of stuff and you actually can get hired in the end and it's actually really helpful if you want to do like ugc and all that kind of stuff but um when it comes to building you know you could remake this build or whatever we were doing and make it in five seconds and you can also make it super nice super high quality and also when it comes to lag and game things with tries and all, all this kind of stuff um it actually helps your game perform better because uh just of the way you know blender is made 
Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.